my life today. The will is the deciding power. November the 10th. Victory in the conflict. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that it may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. There is nothing that can keep you away from God but a rebellious will. The will is the governing power in the nature of man. If the will is set right, all the rest of the being will come under its sway. The will is not the taste or the inclination, but it is the choice, the deciding power, the kingly power, which works in the children of man and to obedience to God or to disobedience. You will be in constant peril until you understand the true force of the will. You may believe and promise all things, but your promises and your faith are of no account until you put your will on the right side. If you will fight the fight of faith with your will power, there is no doubt that you will conquer. Your part is to put your will on the side of Christ. When you yield your will to His, He immediately takes possession of you and works in you to will and to do of His good pleasure. Your nature is brought under the control of His Spirit. Even your thoughts are subject to Him. If you can't control your impulses, your emotions, as you may desire, you can control the will, and thus an entire change will be wrought in your life. When you yield up your will to Christ, your life is hid with Christ in God. It's a light to the power which is above all principalities and powers. You have a strength for God that holds you fast to His strength. And a new life, even the life of faith, is possible to you. You can never be successful in elevating yourself unless your will is on the side of Christ, cooperating with the Spirit of God. Don't feel that you can't, but say, I can, I will. And God has pledged His Holy Spirit to help you in every decided effort. <music>